You know sometimes the excitement of innovation is just so strong that we get caught up in the whirlwind and forget to pause and question ourselves what's actually happening here. The newest project from Elon Musk is called Humanoid Project. It has all the vibes of some sci-fi movie, but is very real and closer than we think to changing everything about our world. What remains when something greater and grander happens along and sucks off all the definitions of work and purpose that define us, making robots quietly, subtly make us obsolete? That can't be mere science fiction, it is the robots uprising that won't bring the fear. There's a dark side to this, that people don't want to go around talking about its power. Who are these robots accountable to? Is this technology good for all of humanity or a threat to the control that should be held by so few? Elon Musk and his company claim that it is all for progress for whom? As we peel back the layers, we're going to be looking at the dark side of this project, that side that could put not just livelihoods, but freedom itself at risk. In this video, we're going to look at every angle of the humanoid project, its potential to make life easier but also deep, unsettling questions about how it could change our society, our economy, and even our sense of self. We're going to look at what makes these humanoids more efficient than any human and why that very efficiency could be what makes them so dangerous. Sit tight, because what we're about to show you is going to change the way you think. But before we get down to it, do subscribe to our channel. Elon Musk is known for his bold and disruptive projects. From sending electric cars to space to building tunnels under cities to solve traffic, his vision has always been one of pushing the boundaries of what humanity can achieve. Now, he concentrates his attention on something even bigger and bolder making robots that could maybe one day walk among us, help us, or perhaps even replace us. It is the Humanoid Project, a venture that might well change life as we know it. It is sure to make waves, but no less evident are the potential pitfalls. Is it a utopian dream for machines to do everything mundane on our behalf, or a dream that might eventually turn into a Frankenstein monster, outsmarting its makers? Let's break this down and really understand what is at stake here. These are not machines that clean the house or automate tasks. This is the humanoid project a leap into the unknown. Robots designed to be more capable, more efficient, perhaps more dangerous than we may be ready to handle. And the more we dig down, you will understand why people are in awe and fright. It is not about a revolutionary thing that is going to change the game, but a thing that could redefine a human concept. Quality number one, superhuman efficiency. We are not only discussing speed, although that's the least of what these robots offer. These humanoids do not get tired, they work round the clock without breaks for sleep, food, or any other reason. Their physical capabilities are unparalleled and surpass those of humans they can carry heavier loads, respond more rapidly, and carry out repeated tasks with great accuracy each time. It is like an assembly line worker that never gets tired, never makes a mistake, and doesn't need a paycheck. So it's quite obvious why industries would be interested in something like that. But here's the catch, when does this over-efficiency begin to supplant human employment? Sounds pretty utopian to have an overabundance of efficiency when a robot does a job faster and better than a human being. And that's not just physical work this can extend to service occupations, clerical jobs, and even creative pursuits. When a machine can do what you do but faster, more accurately, and without the human needs that employers see as costs, what does that mean for millions of workers around the world? Quality number two, advanced decision-making and AI learning. The second feature that is quite scary yet impressive about the humanoid project is how these machines make decisions. Such machines are provided with advanced AI, which will have it learn from what surrounds them and make decisions almost instantly. That's not like being fed a script it is learning and adapting. Imagine a machine that learns to optimize its tasks, or even starts to make judgments about what is best in a particular scenario. Now consider what such implications would bring about. What if one day the robots start to decide some issues that would touch humanity? not just at work but in matters related to public safety, health issues, or law enforcement? What if the optimal for the robot is not in line with our values, human empathy, or moral considerations? Such advanced decision-making could result in incredible progress but would also open up the risk of unintended consequences, a robot deciding something critical, beyond our understanding or control. Quality number three, physical adaptability. One of the talked-about topics of the humanoid project is its physical adaptability. The robots are designed to operate in environments that could prove difficult or completely unsafe for humans. They can traverse challenging terrain, climb stairs, operate at extreme temperatures, and handle hazardous materials, all while remaining perfectly efficient. This appears to be a significant advantage. Just imagine robots helping in disaster zones, performing rescues, or handling dangerous tasks like defusing bombs. And yet, it is a sword that cuts both ways. If these are malleable robots that can, at almost any environment, assume a role a human would play, what future awaits us? And beyond that, what if they're used for purposes not so noble? 
What if they become tools of oppression, surveillance, or even warfare? This adaptability makes these humanoids very useful, but also very dangerous in the wrong hands. Quality number four, emotional detachment. There are two features. Really, there are two characteristics, but one key feature or weakness, depending on how you describe it, emotional detachment. These are programmed not to have an emotional reaction whatsoever, meaning they are focused, biased free, and not exhausted. In one way or another, there is absolutely nothing wrong about them working as idealistic workers. This detaches them, which in turn makes them ruthless though. Humans, no matter how efficient they are, are propelled by emotions, by sympathy, by the recognition of good and bad. A machine without emotions does not ponder, does not pause for reflection, and does not weigh the ethics of his deeds. This would translate to phenomenal efficiency in doing things, but when those things are human life, this lack of emotional depth means a lack of moral consideration. And that can be terrifying when these robots are making decisions that affect people. Quality number five, autonomous decision capabilities. Perhaps most unnerving of all is their independence. The robots that come from the humanoid project can run with minimal human interaction. They have the capacity to analyze conditions, learn from the situation, and act independently on the information gained. This is where it suggests they do not need to be constantly watched. They are intelligent enough to support themselves, but with machines of this power, autonomy presents obvious risks. If we are giving too much power to the robots, how do we ensure they don't stray too far from human values? What if they understand goals in ways we didn't intend for them to? What if they learn some behaviors that might be undesirable? Autonomous capabilities represent both the triumphant accomplishment of engineering and a potentially disastrous pathway forward. So we need to ask, what kind of safeguards exist? And are they enough to prevent a worst-case scenario? Let's not forget that there are enormous advantages of the humanoid project the chances to reduce human workload to perform jobs too dangerous or too boring for man to bring technology into unprecedented levels. Such robots can reshape whole industries from healthcare through construction to space exploration. The actual threat from job displacement. And another one is the loss of human purpose in a world where robots do all of the work. Ethical dilemmas arise when a robot makes a mistake. Who is responsible for it? How do you handle a situation in which a robot's decision harms someone? The benefits may be clear, but they are matched by dangers real to themselves and deserve our closest attention. Is Elon Musk not as forthcoming on this one? Does the reward outweigh the risks in any ways he might not communicate? The more controversy from the humanoid project sparks questions from experts and ethicists, questioning our course. Sometimes it helps to examine whether we're seeing things in their totality or just in parts meant to excite and captivate us. How will this affect my life, my job, my community? These are questions not just for the scientist or ethicist, but for each one of us. Because the choices that are made today over these robots will determine what we live in tomorrow. If you have any questions or thoughts, just comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more stuff like this and tap that notification bell so you get more content. Thanks for watching.